have been discussing implication p implies q in our last lecture we discussed about implication p implies q p implies q uh, implication is a conditional statement if something will happen then it will cause some other thing to happen if hypothesis then we get some conclusion we get some consequence of hypothesis p implies q so last time we did example for, uh, we discussed in detail if you get 100% marks in the final then you get an a grade when this statement is true and when this is false statement true hoti hai uh, whenever hypothesis is true and result is true then statement is true obviously agar hamara hypothesis true ho jata and we do not get the result then statement is false lekin at the same time we observe ke agar hypothesis true nahi hota then we are not in a position to challenge the implication the hypothesis is true nahi hota if you get 100% marks in the final and you are not able to get 100% marks in the final then we are not in a position to challenge the statement statement is true implication is true implication ko hum challenge nahi kar sakte challenge wo tabhi hogi agar hypothesis true ho gaya aur conclusion hame nahi mila so if hypothesis fails then statement is true so based on this we made hypoth uh, our truth table for implication jab bhi aapka hypothesis fail ho jaye no matter what the result is result is false or true zero or one our implication is true jab hum implication ke true hone ki baat kar rahe hain we are talking about if p then q this complete statement ki ye true hai आपका हाइपोथेसिस फेल होने से आपकी इम्प्लीकेशन फेल नहीं होती नो मैटर नो मैटर हॉर रेडिकुलस द हाइपोथेसिस बिकम्स एंड हॉर रेडिकुलस द रिजल्ट मे बिकम बेस्ड ऑन दैट हाइपोथेसिस हमारी इम्प्लीकेशन फॉल्स तभी होगी कि आपका हाइपोथेसिस ट्रू है बहुत लॉजिकल से है लॉजिकल फैक्ट है ट्रू है एवरीबॉडी नोज दैट दिस हाइपोथेसिस इज ट्रू एंड वी डो नॉट गेट द रिजल्ट फिर जो हमारे पी एम्प्लाइज क्यू की स्टेटमेंट थी वो फॉल्स हो जाएगी बिकॉज हमने हाइपोथेसिस तो फुलफिल कर दिया लेकिन हमें रिजल्ट मिला ही नहीं तो इम्प्लीकेशन बिकम्स फॉल्स इफ हाइपोथेसिस ट्रू रिजल्ट इज ट्रू देन एवरीथिंग इज फाइन एवरीथिंग इज हैप्पी सो इम्प्लीकेशन इज ट्रू तो प्लीज हैव ए लुक क्लोज लुक एट दिस ट्रूथ टेबल ये ट्रूथ टेबल कब ट्रू हो रहे हैं वेन इट इज गोइंग टू बी वन वन अगर आपका हाइपोथेसिस फेल हो गया दिस इज ऑलवेज ट्रू और अगर आपका हाइपोथेसिस तो ट्रू है रिजल्ट भी ट्रू है देन इट इज ट्रू सो इफ वी आर लुकिंग एट हाइपोथेसिस वेन एवर हाइपोथेसिस फेल्स वी ऑलवेज गेट वन इन लुकिंग एट क्यू स्टेटमेंट वेन एवर क्यू इज ट्रू आवर हाइपोथेसिस इज ट्रू सो वेन एवर हाइपोथेसिस फेल्स Uh, we can just say either hypothesis fails or result is true then it is true agar aapka hypothesis true hai aur result fail hai only in that condition it is zero then it is fails agar aapka hypothesis fail hai aankhein band karke implication is true and if uh, your conclusion is true a conclusion aapka one hai so implication will always be one agar aapka conclusion one hai to aapka hypothesis ya to true hoga ya fail hoga अगर हाइपोथेसिस ट्रू है और रिजल्ट भी ट्रू है देन इट्स फाइन अगर आपका कंक्लूजन ट्रू है हाइपोथेसिस फेल है सो इट इज इम्प्लीकेशन हैज टू बी फाइन बिकॉज अगर हाइपोथेसिस फेल है वी डू नॉट एंटर इन द कंडीशन ऑफ इम्प्लीकेशन सो इट विल रिमेन ट्रू सो वेन एवर हाइपोथेसिस फेल्स और कंक्लूजन इज ट्रू वी ऑलवेज गेट वन सो इन अदर वर्ड वी कैन से implication is logically equivalent to uh, negation of p whenever it is false uh, agar p false it means p bar is going to be true so whenever p bar is true or q is true p bar or q then implication is going to be true uh, uh, abhi hum iske truth table bhi banayenge so we will uh, get more insight into this so last time we always discuss about converse किसी भी स्टेटमेंट के कन्वर्स क्या है क्यू इम्प्लाइज पी सो कन्वर्स का हमने कहीं पे ट्रूथ टेबल भी बनाया था आई कैन नॉट सी हियर इट्स फाइन सो सो 
so uh, whenever we have uh, 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 P implies Q, so its converse is going to be Q implies P. P implies Q, its converse is going to be Q implies P. So we can see the truth values. Uh, when we have P implies Q, the truth values are, for example, here 1, 1, 0, 1. So Q implies P, its truth values are 1, 0, 1, 1. So we can say P implies Q is not the same as its converse. P implies Q, key truth values, or Q implies P, key truth values, wo AXC nahi hai, they are different. So uh, these are the examples we did in last class. And then we saw about converse, inverse, and contrapositive. Implication key different variations hai. A converse, jo abhi humne discuss kiya, P implies Q hai, to converse is going to be Q implies P. Inverse kya hai ji? Not P implies not Q. So, aap kiya hypothesis ki bhi negation ho gai. Aap ke conclusion ki bhi negation ho gai. Not P implies not Q. Ek cheez jad rikhe ga inverse ko hum negation nahin kya sakte. Negation abhi hum discuss karenge. So, inverse is negation of hypothesis implies negation of conclusion. So, this is not negation of implication. It's negation of hypothesis implies negation of conclusion. Not P implies not Q. And contraposition is not Q implies not P. Not Q implies not P is contrapositive. Uh, contrapositive is actually quite an interesting thing uh, because contrapositive is logically equivalent to implication. This, uh, for this, we had uh, seen its truth table and we saw they are logically equivalent. So we had this example, P implies Q. If it is below freezing, then it is snowing. If it is below freezing, then it is snowing. This is our implication. So P, our P statement hypothesis is if it is below freezing. And our conclusion is it is snowing. If it is below freezing, then it is snowing. Converse kya hai? Q implies P. Jo aapka conclusion hai, it is switched to hypothesis and hypothesis is switched to conclusion. So they change their positions they change their roles. Q implies P. So if it is snowing, then it is below freezing. Inverse, not P implies not Q. So not P, aapke hypothesis ki negation hogi. If it is not below freezing, not Q, conclusion ki negation hogi. It is not freezing. So inverse is, if it is not below freezing, then it is not snowing. A contrapositive, Aapka conclusion or hypothesis, they switch their place and we take its complement, its negation. Um, hypothesis or conclusion, dono ki negation like uh, positions ko switch kar dete hai. Not Q implies not P. So if it is not snowing, then it is not below freezing. Implication was if it is below freezing, then it is not snowing. Contraposition is if it is not snowing, then it is not below freezing. So we had some examples of it. We saw, and at the end we concluded K implication is equivalent to its contrapositive. P implies Q is same as not Q implies not P. We had its truth table. So P implies Q, 1101, and not Q implies not P, we also get 1101. So when we logical equivalence show, so one good way is uh, to make truth table and look at the truth values. The truth values output aati hai. if these are the same then two expressions are logically equivalent two expressions are logically equivalent there could be other ways to show logical equivalence uh, through algebraic ways it it might become difficult truth values are one easy way for logical expressions one easy way to show logical equivalence so uh, next is biconditional proposition it is actually two-way implication. It's two-way implication. Ke P implies Q, and at the same time, Q implies P. Implication is one-way implication. Hai. Uh, uska agaram, forward, ke, forward implication. So by condition is forward and reverse implication at the same time. So P implies Q, and also Q implies P. So isko hum, uh, sakte ke if P then Q and if Q then P. Isko hum is bhi kehte hai, P if and only if Q. 
So, uh, for example, we take some examples. For example, uh, you can take the ticket. Uh, sorry, you can take the flight. So this is a biconditional statement. You can take the flight if and only if you buy a ticket. If and only if matlab hi buy condition hota hai ki if you take the flight then you buy the ticket and if you buy the ticket then you take a, take the flight so isme aapka jo hypothesis aur conclusion aapki dono statements jo hain dono hi hypothesis hain dono hi conclusion hai ki if you buy the ticket uh, sorry if you take the flight if you take the flight so you take the flight hypothesis hai then you buy a ticket so buy a ticket is conclusion and if you buy a ticket then you take the flight ab kya ho gaya you take as you buy a ticket hypothesis ban gaya and you can take flight aapka conclusion ban gaya so my condition mein dono hi statements hypothesis hain dono hi conclusion hai because we have uh, actually its two implications at the same time we are going to have two implications इसको हम अगर ज्यादा इलेबोरेटिव तरीके से लिखें इफ यू सॉरी यू कैन टेक द टिकट इफ एंड ओनली इफ यू बाय अ टिकट सो इसको हम इस तरह लिख सकते हैं इफ यू टेक द फ्लाइट देन यू हैव बॉट टिकट सो ये इसका एक पार्ट हो गया फॉरवर्ड इम्प्लीकेशन रिवर्स इम्प्लीकेशन क्या होगी इफ यू बाय टिकट देन यू टेक द फ्लाइट If you buy the ticket, then you take the flight. और हम दोनों को end कर देते हैं कि दोनों ही statements true होनी चाहिए. पहली implication भी true होनी चाहिए, दूसरी implication भी true होनी चाहिए. Then this whole by condition is true. By condition, so नाम से ही जाहिर है कि it's a double conditional statement implication. Uh, so let's make uh, truth table for by condition. so uh, p q so if p has value 0 0 1 and q is 0 1 0 so uh, p q 0 0 so p implies q is going to be 1 and q implies p is also going to be 1 uh, kyunki uh, q bhi 0 ho gaya p bhi 0 hai so 0 implies 0 is implication hamari hamesha hamari 1 hoti hai ab in dono ka and le le 1 and 1 is going to be 1 uh, next p implies q 0 implies 1 so it has to be 1 lekin q implies p ab kya ho raha hai 1 implies 0 1 implies 0 so 1 implies 0 means aapka hypothesis true ho gaya result fail ho gaya so this is going to be false so the 1 implies 0 is going to be 0 ab 1 and 0 kya hoga it's going to be 0 uh next uh, p is 1 and q is 0 so 1 implies 0 is 0 and 0 implies 1 q implies P zero implies one, so false hypothesis implies true result. So implication is true. So zero implies one, so Q implies P is one. So now zero and one, zero and one is going to be zero. A, a, a last one is easy. One implies one is one, and Q implies P. One implies one is one. One and one is uh, one. So our uh, P if and only if Q P by condition with Q. इसकी ट्रुथ वैल्यूज क्या आ रही हैं वन जीरो जीरो वन सो हमारे पी इम्प्लाइज क्यू वॉज वन वन जीरो वन क्यू इम्प्लाइज पी इज वन जीरो वन वन ये कन्वर्स है सो पी इम्प्लाइज क्यू क्यू इम्प्लाइज पी दोनों के एंड ले लें वन एंड वन इज वन वन एंड जीरो 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 एंड वन इज जीरो वन एंड वन इज वन सो माई कंडीशन इज वन जीरो जीरो वन सो वेन इट इज ट्रू इट इज ट्रू वेन बोथ पी एंड क्यू आर फॉल्स आपके दोनों हाइपोथेसिस ही फेल हो गए सो वी डू नॉट एंटर इन टू इम्प्लीकेशन इन एनी केस सो इट इज गोइंग टू बी ट्रू वी कैन नॉट चैलेंज इट वन इम्प्लाइज वन देन एवरीथिंग इज फाइन सो इट इज वन लेकिन अगर आपकी कोई एक स्टेटमेंट भी फॉल्स हो गई पी फॉल्स हो गया या क्यू फॉल्स हो गया बाय कंडीशन इज फेल बाय कंडीशन इज फेल सो इट इज ट्रू ओनली वेन बोथ स्टेटमेंट स्टेटमेंट्स आर आर आई दर ट्रू और बोथ स्टेटमेंट्स आर फॉल्स यहां से हम देख सकते हैं कि बाई कंडीशन इज समथिंग सिमिलर टू एक्स और एक्चुअली इट इज निगेशन ऑफ एक्स और एक्स और में क्या था वेन एवर वी हैव टू स्टेटमेंट जीरो इट इज जीरो 
तो ये स्टेटमेंट स्टेटमेंट भी आपकी वन हो गई तो एक्सक्लूसिव और वन था जबकि बाई कंडीशन में इसका कॉम्प्लीमेंट हो रहा है हम यूजली लिखते हैं इफ एंड ओनली इफ क्यू पी इफ एंड ओनली इफ क्यू सो बाई कंडीशन को हम पढ़ते हैं इसी तरह whenever we have p double sided arrow q so we read it p if and only if q agar single sided arrow hai simple implication to hum kya kehte hain if p then q ya p implies q by condition hai so we always read it as p if and only if q so it can also be written as like p is necessary and sufficient for q ya q is necessary and sufficient for p kyunki p aur q they can change uh, roles इंटरचेंज रोल इन बाई कंडीशन इसको हम ऐसे भी कह सकते हैं इफ पी देन क्यू एंड कन्वर्सली इफ पी देन क्यू और इसका कन्वर्स यानी इफ क्यू एंड पी वो भी ट्रू है सो इफ पी एंड क्यू एंड कन्वर्सली यू कैन से वाइस वर्सा मोस्ट ऑफ इट इज रिटर्न एज पी आई एफ एफ क्यू आई एफ एफ क्यू i with double f is not a, a typo it is the notation uh, if with double f is read as if and only if so jahan pe bhi aapko i f f nazar aaye it means if and only if so it's a short notation of if and only if p if and only if q so uh, let's look at some um, by conditions x is greater than 0 x is positive if and only if x square is positive so this means ye uh, by condition true hai jo false hai uske bhi hum baat nahi karte what does it mean if x is positive then x square is positive and if x square is positive then x is positive uh, if x is positive then x square is positive it's obvious if x is x square is positive then x is positive actually it is not true if x square is positive then x could be positive or it could be negative negative number ka square bhi to positive hote hai the alarm goes off i f f a burglar breaks in the alarm goes off if and only if a burglar breaks in so we can uh, re, uh, analyze this statement if alarm goes off then a burglar breaks in and if a burglar breaks in then alarm goes off so uh, we have uh, to look at both implication uh, you may have putting if and only if you eat your meat so uh, uh, this is just uh, some ridiculous example which of the following by conditions are true let's analyze our by conditions if x square plus y square is 0 x square plus y square is zero if and only if x is zero and y is zero. So we have two implication, biconditional, two implication. So we have to look at both implications. Let's see. If x square plus y square is zero, then x is zero, y is zero. अगर तो x square plus y square zero है, so we know x square or y square. X square is uh, if we are talking about real numbers, so x square is always going uh, going to be a non negative number ye zero ho sakta hai ya positive hoga y square bhi ya zero hoga ya positive hoga agar inme se ek bhi koi positive number hai greater than zero to in dono ka sum fir zero nahi ho sakta zero hone ke liye ya to ek number positive ho ek negative ho jaise plus 2 minus 2 to plus 2 minus 2 is equal to zero lekin ab dono hi number non negative hai तो दोनों के सम जीरो सिर्फ एक ही कंडीशन में हो सकते हैं कि अगर एक्स भी जीरो वाई भी जीरो हो सो इफ एक्स स्क्र प्लस वाई स्क्र जीरो जीरो वाई जीरो अब दूसरी स्टेटमेंट क्या है इफ एक्स जीरो वाई जीरो प्लस वाई स्क्र जीरो इट इज स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड कि अगर एक्स की वैल्यू भी जीरो है वाई की भी वैल्यू जीरो है सो जीरो स्केयर प्लस जीरो स्केयर दिस इज गोइंग टू बी जीरो सो दिस ट्रू बिकॉज बहुत इम्प्लीकेशन होल्ड 
And next one, two plus two is zero. If and only if under root two is less than two. Two plus two is zero. So if two plus two is zero, we know two plus two is equal to sorry. If two plus two is equal to four, we know two plus two is equal to four is true. Then under root two is less than two. So G statement statement is true here. So one side key implication to true here. The other side pe. So this is also going to be true. If under root two is less than two, then two plus two is four. So that is also true. So this implication is also true. X square is non-negative, greater than or equal to zero. So it is non-negative if and only if x is non-negative. So let's see. If x square is non-negative, then x is non-negative. Mm, if if x square is non-negative, so x could be negative as well. It could be zero. It could be positive. It could be negative as well because, uh, for example, minus two. Minus two का square is going to be plus four. So अगर हमारे पास x square positive है, we cannot say x is positive or negative. So G uh, implication forward direction में fail हो रही है. If x square is non-negative, then x is non-negative. This fails. This is false. Reverse direction में it's obvious. If x square, if x is greater than or equal to zero, then x square is greater than or equal to zero. This is obvious. कि अगर x आपका जीरो इफ x इज जीरो देन x स्क्र इज जीरो इफ x इज पॉजिटिव देन x स्क्र इज ऑब्वियसली पॉजिटिव सो ये इम्प्लीकेशन एक साइड पे तो ट्रू है लेकिन दूसरी साइड पे फॉल्स है सो द होल बाय कंडीशन इज गोइंग टू बी फॉल्स द कन्वर्स होल्ड्स इफ x x इज नॉट नेगेटिव देन x स्क्र इज नॉट नेगेटिव दिस होल्ड्स लेकिन इम्प्लीकेशन इन फॉरवर्ड डायरेक्शन इफ x स्क्र इज नॉट नेगेटिव देन x इज Also non-negative that fails because, for example, if x square is one, so x could be plus one or it could be minus one. Not necessarily that it's non-negative; it could be negative as well. So uh, the by condition overall it fails. Uh, actually, we, uh, if, uh, discussion of implication ends over here. There are few more things that. Uh, little uh, things that might be uh, helpful for assignment. Actually, there are these uh, we have discussed somewhere in uh, our previous lecture. We can just go through again. Uh, first one is De Morgan's law. De Morgan's law, we have discussed in semester ke pehle week mein discuss kiya tha in set notation. Uh, sets mein De Morgan's law kya hota hai? If we have two sets A or B, हमारे पास दो sets हैं A, B. So, if we take union of them, A union B, and then we take complement of this union. So, this is going to be A complement intersection B complement. A union B bar is A bar intersection B bar. Or is he ka jo uh, second part hai De Morgan's law ka A intersection B and complement of this. is same as equivalent to a complement union b complement a intersection b complement is equivalent to a complement union b complement uh, we have proven this using venn diagram so for example over here we can see uh, this green portion is a complement in this figure green portion is b complement so uh, dono ke intersection a complement intersection b complement is going to be The region outside these two circles, circles के जो बाहर के region है that is A complement intersection B complement, and we can also see A union B क्या होगा A union B these two circles और उसके complement anything outside these circles is A union B. So A union B complement is same as A uh, complement intersection B complement, and we can uh, uh, I mean the same thing uh, holds, same results holds for logical expressions. So uh, union is actually similar to OR operations. जो sets में हम union operation use करते हैं, it's similar to OR operations. कि या तो ये इस set का हिस्सा होगा या इस set का हिस्सा होगा. And intersection is similar to AND operation. Uh, intersection. इंटरसेक्शन में हमारे क्या था कि इट शुड बी पार्ट ऑफ बोथ सेट्स समथिंग इज पार्ट ऑफ बोथ सेट्स वी कॉल इट इंटरसेक्शन 
یعنی سم تھنگ از پارٹ آف اے اینڈ آلسو اٹ از پارٹ آف بی سو انٹرسیکشن از سملر ٹو اینڈ آپریشن سو ڈیمارگن آپریشن بھی اسی طرح ہمارا لاجیکل ایکسپریشن پہ امپلیمنٹ ہو سکتے سو پی اینڈ کیو اس کی نگیشن سو اٹ مینس اٹس جسٹ لائک پی انٹرسیکشن کیو اینڈ اٹس نگیشن سو اٹس گوئنگ ٹو بی پی نگیشن یونین کیو نگیشن یونین از سیم ایز اور آپریشن سو پی اینڈ کیو اٹس نگیشن از گوئنگ ٹو بی ناٹ آف پی اور ناٹ آف کیو نگیشن آف پی اور نگیشن آف کیو سو اینڈ از کنورٹیڈ ان ٹو اور اور جو آپ کی اسٹیٹمنٹس ہیں ان کی نگیشن ہوگی سملرلی فار اور آپریشن وی کین سی پی اور کیو اینڈ اٹس نگیشن نگیشن آف پی اور کیو از اکیولینٹ ٹو نگیشن آف پی اینڈ نگیشن آف کیو سو ڈیمارگن لا میں اور آپریٹر آپ کا اینڈ میں چینج ہو جاتا ہے اینڈ اسٹیٹمنٹس بیکمس نگیٹڈ اور اینڈ آپریشن آپ کا اور آپریٹر میں چینج ہو جاتا ہے اینڈ وی ٹیک نگیشن آف آور اسٹیٹمنٹس آور پروپوزیشنس جسٹ اے کوئک ایگزامپل سو فار ایگزامپل پی اسٹیٹمنٹ از ووٹس ہیو بین کاؤنٹیڈ اینڈ کیو اسٹیٹمنٹ از الیکشن از ڈیسائڈیڈ سو پی اینڈ کیو کیا ہوگا ووٹس ہیو بین کاؤنٹیڈ اینڈ الیکشن از ڈیسائڈیڈ اور اس کی نگیشن کیا ہوگی ناٹ آف ووٹس ہیو بین کاؤنٹیڈ اینڈ الیکشن از ڈیسائڈیڈ مینس ان دونوں میں سے کوئی ایک چیز بھی فالس ہو جائے سو وی کین سی ووٹس ہیو ناٹ بین کاؤنٹیڈ اور الیکشن از ناٹ ڈیسائڈیڈ سو نگیشن آف ووٹس ہیو بین کاؤنٹیڈ اینڈ الیکشن از ڈیسائڈیڈ کیا ہوگی ووٹس ہیو ناٹ بین کاؤنٹیڈ سو پی کی نگیشن ہو گئی اور الیکشن از ناٹ ڈیسائڈیڈ نگیشن آف کیو سو نگیشن آف پی اور نگیشن آف کیو سو ڈیمارگن لا اٹس ایزی سو یو کین امپلیمنٹ اٹ ان یور اینی اسٹیٹمنٹ لاجیکل اسٹیٹمنٹ نگیشن آف امپلیکیشن سو دس از سم تھنگ انٹرسٹنگ امپارٹنٹ ایک امپلیکیشن پی پی امپلائز کیو ہمیں دی ہوئی ہے سو اس کی ہم نگیشن کس طرح کریں گے پی امپلائز کیو سو فرسٹ آف آل پی امپلائز کیو از لاجیکلی اکیولینٹ ٹو ناٹ پی اور کیو لیٹس لوکیٹ اٹس ٹروتھ ویلیوز پی امپلائز کیو وی نو ایف پی از ٹرو پی از ٹرو کیو از ٹرو سو پی امپلائز کیو از ٹرو پی از فالس کیو از فالس اگین اٹ از ٹرو بیکاز ہائپوسس فیلس پی فالس کیو ٹرو سو اٹ از گوئنگ ٹو بی ٹرو and if uh, p is true and q fails in that case p implies q is false so whenever hypothesis fails it's true whenever hypothesis is true but q fails then it is false only in that condition it is false so whenever hypothesis is false we have true value and whenever q is true we have true value so we can say p implies q is same as negation of p اور کیو جب ایک پی فالس فالس ہو گیا مینس نگیشن آف پی یا کیو ٹرو ہو گیا دین وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ہیو ٹرو ویلیو سو لیٹس لوک ایٹ ناٹ پی اور کیو کیا اس کی ٹروتھ ویلیوز بھی سیم آتی ہیں سو ناٹ پی فرسٹ آف آل پی از ٹرو فالس فالس ٹرو سو ناٹ پی از گوئنگ ٹو بی فالس ٹرو ٹرو فالس سو ناٹ پی اور کیو کیا اور آپریشن ٹرو اور فالس اٹس گوئنگ ٹو بی ٹرو False or true, it's going to be true. True or true is true. False or false is false. False or false is false. So we can say both have same truth values. Both have same uh, uh, in truth table. The last column for them is same. P implies Q is logically equivalent to not P or Q. so when we are going to do negation of p implies q if we want to do negation of p implies q it's same as uh, p implies q bar so iske hum uh, negation karne ke liye uh, we have no other way but to use its logically equivalent expression not p or q not p or q ki negation hum um, de morgan's law se kar sakte hain so negation of p or q مارگنز لا سیز کے 
जो आपका और ऑपरेटर है जी एंड में चेंज हो जाएगा और जो इंडिविजुअल स्टेटमेंट्स है उनकी निगेशन हो जाएगी सो नॉट पी की निगेशन क्या होगी नॉट ऑफ नॉट पी निगेशन ऑफ निगेशन ऑफ पी सो निगेशन ऑफ निगेशन ऑफ पी नॉट ऑफ नॉट इज गोइंग टू बी लाइक पॉजिटिव सो निगेशन ऑफ निगेशन ऑफ पी इज गोइंग टू बी पी हमारे पास और ऑपरेटर है सो और इज गोइंग टू बी एंड एंड क्यू सो निगेशन ऑफ क्यू so negation is going to be p and not q p and not q so negation of implication is p and not q so uh be careful negation is uh jab hum implication ki negation karte hain so it is not like not p implies not q not p implies not q is inverse not p implies not q is inverse so negation is not the same as inverse inverse aur cheez hai negation aur cheez hai implication ka inverse aur cheez hai aur implication ki negation is a different thing so not p implies not q is inverse aur implication ki negation kya hai p and not q so important thing to remember jab hum implication ki negation lete hain की निगेशन लेते हैं इंप्लीकेशन खत्म हो जाती है सो दिस बिकम जस्ट एन एन एंड ऑपरेटर पी एंड नॉट क्यू देर इज नो मोर निगेशन सो इफ यू लुक एट इट्स अगेन ट्रूथ टेबल सो पी क्यू सो लेट्स मेक इट जीरो जीरो वन वन एंड क्यू इज जीरो वन जीरो वन सो ट्रूथ टेबल ट्रूथ टेबल में हम तमाम पॉसिबल वैल्यूज तमाम पॉसिबल सीनेरियोज देखते हैं सो पी क्यू बोथ कैन बी जीरो या पी इज जीरो क्यू इज वन क्यू पी इज वन क्यू इज जीरो पी इज वन क्यू इज वन सो वी लुक एट ऑल पॉसिबल सीनेरियोज वी नीड निगेशन ऑफ क्यू सो निगेशन ऑफ क्यू इज गोइंग टू बी पी क्यू इज जीरो वन जीरो वन सो निगेशन ऑफ क्यू इज गोइंग टू बी वन जीरो वन जीरो p implies q so we know uh, it's going to be 1 1 0 1 jab bhi aapka hypothesis fail ho gaya so implication is true hypothesis is true uh, conclusion is false uh, implication is false Impl uh, hypothesis conclusion are, are true so implication is true so is this ki negation kya hogi 1 1 0 1 so it's going to be 0 0 1 0 that's fine uh, let's look at p and not q p is 0 not q is 1 0 and 1 0 and 1 is going to be 0 next is 0 and 0 0 and 0 is 0 1 and 1 1 and 1 is 1 1 and 0 1 and 0 is 0 so we see this is same as p implies q negation so p and not q 0 0 1 0 and p implies q negation is also same as 0 0 1 0 so these two are same these two are uh, what to say logically equivalent let's highlight these so these two are logically equivalent they have same truth values so same truth values so they are logically equivalent p implies q negation is same as p and not q so just for example if our implication is if it is below freezing then it is snowing so is ki negation kya hogi p and not q p kya hai it is below freezing so uh p and not q so it is below freezing and it is snowing so it is not snowing so negation of p implies q is it is below freezing and it is not snowing so uh, please uh, note down ki isme implication ab khatam ho gayi hai jab humne negation li hai to implication khatam ho gayi implication gets vanished 
तो निगेशन में हमारे पास कंडीशन हाइपोथेसिस कंक्लूजन नहीं रह जाते निगेशन और बाय कंडीशन क्या होगी सो बाय कंडीशन वी रिमेंबर इट इज एंड ऑफ टू इंप्लीकेशन पी इंप्लाइज क्यू और दूसरी इंप्लीकेशन क्या है क्यू इंप्लाइज पी सो बाय कंडीशन इज पी डबल एरो साइन विद क्यू ओके जस्ट लाइक ओके सो वी कैन राइट डाउन हियर निगेशन ऑफ पी विद डबल एरो साइन so we have yeah this double arrow q so this is going to be equivalent to and this thing so negation of by condition is negation of p implies q and q implies p hamare paas jo by condition hoti hai it is end of forward implication and reverse implication so we can use de morgan's law so de morgan's law mein so we we get first implication and second implication dono ki negation ho jayegi aur end operator aapka not operator mein change ho jayega uh, sorry end operator aapka or operator mein change ho jayega so this is going to be negation of p implies q or negation of q implies p so negation of p implies q p implies q we know is not p or q q implies p is not q or p और फिर इसकी निगेशन लेंगे सो वी कैन अगेन यूज डिमोर्गन लॉ ऑन बोथ पार्ट सो निगेशन ऑफ नॉट पी और क्यू इज गोइंग टू बी पी एंड नॉट क्यू और सो निगेशन ऑफ नॉट क्यू इम्प्लाई नॉट क्यू और पी इज क्यू एंड पी बार सो दिस बिकम्स क्यू एंड पी बार सो निगेशन हमारे पास क्या आ गई पी एंड नॉट क्यू और क्यू एंड नॉट पी लेट्स लुक एट इट्स Uh, truth values let's look at its truth values so uh, p is 001 11q is going to be uh, 0101 so not p is 1100 not q is 1010 p p and not q so p and not q 0 and 1 is 0 or q and not p so q is 0 not p is 1 so uh, so their end is going to be 0 so 0 or 0 is 0 first row second uh, second row me again p and not q so 0 and not q 1 0 and 0 is 0 and 1 and 1 q and not p so 1 and 1 is 1 so 0 or 1 is going to be 1 Uh, p and not q third row me p and not q 1 and 1 1 and 1 is 1 and 0 and 0 is 0 so 1 or 0 is going to be 1 last row p and not q is p and 0 is 0 q and not p so 1 and not p 0 1 and 0 is 0 0 or 0 is 0 so that's fine we get value 0 1 1 0 Uh, p implies a uh, p, p by condition on q if you remember hamari uh, uh, truth values by condition ki kya thi by condition ki hamare uh, truth values were 1 0 0 jab bhi hamare paas p aur q dono zero hai we get one jab p aur q dono one hai we get one unme se koi ek bhi zero ho gaya so we get zero so it was 1 0 0 1 and we take negation of this So negation of one is zero. Negation of zero is one. Negation of one is zero. So we get zero one one zero. This is same. जो हमने p and not q और q and not p किया था. So zero one one zero. But and zero one one zero. This is same as XOR. So not q and uh, negation of by condition is same as xor operation so this is some interesting result okay agar uh, by condition ki negation lete hain its uh, truth values are same as xor operation so these are logically equivalent expressions negation of by condition is logically equivalent to xor operation 
uh, over here we have number of examples. I hope you can do by yourself these statements, how to write these statements in mathematical notation. Uh, for example, P statement, robbers have been seen in the city. Q is the statement, it is safe to drive on the roads. R is the st statement, police stations are open everywhere. So uh, uh, these are some examples in Kiham different combination, logical combination. Compound proposition, they accept. Uh, for example, a Pelly statement ke hai, robbers have not been seen in the city. Robbers have not been seen in the city. So, this is uh, robbers have been seen in the city. So, it's key negation. Hogi. Robbers have not been seen in the city. So, this is going to be negation of P. And driving on the road is safe. Q is it is safe to drive on the road. So driving on the road is safe. So and Q, but um, um, but is actually and. So but because but we use use that when some other statement be usi bak ho rahi ho. Police stations are open everywhere. Police stations are open everywhere. Where means is R statement. So it's uh, negation of P and Q and R. Um, uh, I hope you can do by yourself. Uh, uh, let's uh, try to do the second one. Driving on the road is not safe whenever robbers have been seen in the city and police stations are not open everywhere. So over here, I assume that these uh, statements are So whenever means a condition. So condition, whenever is same as if. So, if we want to write it in English, mein, simple English statement. So, whenever ke baad ki jo bhi cheez hai, so this is going to be implication. And we see there are two statements over here. So, uh, so something we get result. So, implication, whenever ke baad kya hai, robbers have been seen in the city. So, this is P. And police stations are not open everywhere. And so, and we have to put and operator and police stations are not open everywhere. Our statement R K police stations are open everywhere. So police stations are not open everywhere. So it is negation of R. P and not of R. This implies driving on the road is not safe. So it's negation of Q. So we get result negation of Q. It is safe to drive on the road. So uh, our conclusion is driving on the road is not safe. So it's not Q. Uh, last statement, for it to be safe to drive on the road, it is necessary that police stations are everywhere and robbers have not been seen in the city. So it is necessary means, agar ye condition hogi, then for it to be safe on the road. So then we have, this is going to be, uh, for it to be safe on the road, then it is necessary that police stations are everywhere and robbers have not been seen. So for it to be safe on the road, so this is our condition. For it, uh, for it to be safe on the road, Uh, uh, for it to be safe on the road. So uh, this is something that we want. So this is the result for it to be safe on the road. So uh, to get this result, uh, we should have some necessary condition and necessary condition is our if statement ke if police stations are everywhere and robbers have not been seen in the city. So jo aapki baad wali statement hai, this is condition if statement. Uh, So uh, it is necessary that police stations are everywhere and robbers have not been seen in the city. So uh, the police stations are everywhere. So this is statement R. Robbers have not been seen in the city. So it's negation of P. Uh, and it's negation of P. So this implies uh, this should give us result. These two conditions together, this should give uh, give us result. It is safe to drive on the road. So it implies Q. 
So R and not P implies Q. If police stations are open everywhere and robbers have not been seen in the city, then it is safe to drive on the road. So when we write in English, in common language, mein, so there could be many variations. It can be complex. Bhi ho jati for example, for it to be safe on the road, it is necessary that police stations are everywhere and robbers have not been seen in the city. Uh, then there are some more example, examples you can try to do at your own. Uh, Contrapositive, uh, so I, I hope you can do it yourself. Uh, logical propositions, puzzles. Uh, logical puzzles, we have done before holidays, before Eid holidays, we did it. Uh, so just a quick review of these things. Uh, for logical puzzles, this lecture has already uploaded. Hai, so if you want to review, you can quickly go through that lecture on YouTube. So uh, some famous puzzles are from uh, Raymond Smullyan. He was famous mathematician, logician. So he proposed, uh, uh, I mean, among many other puzzles, uh, one famous set of puzzles are about knights and knaves. Knights and knaves ki puzzle mein like there is an island which have no interaction with other world and there are two kind of people living there. Ek knights hai aur ek knaves hai. Knights are those people who always say the truth. Ye kabhi jhoot nahi bolenge. They are always true people. But knave, knave, knaves are those people who always lie. Ye kabhi sach nahi bolenge. They are always liars. Knights and knaves. Uh, so uh, in the island you may you meet uh, two or more people and they give you some statements you, do, you don't know who are knights and knaves unko aapas mein pata hai knights ko pata hai ke kaun i mean the residents of the island they knows uh, they know ke who are knights and who are knaves like in, when you arrive on the island so you don't know who are knights and knaves you just uh, analyze their statements and you figure it out that knights are which and knaves are which. Uh, Raymond Simulian, he has many uh, interesting books on logical puzzles. Uh, some of these are available on, uh, available on internet, so you can see. Uh, mostly, uh, hume, uh, I mean, he is renowned for knights and knaves problem, but there are he has many numerous books and puzzles. It is interesting to look at these books. So uh, let's quickly analyze a few of the puzzles. Uh, you reach island and you meet two people, uh, Mr. A and Mr. B. So they give you some statements and you have to analyze and figure it out. Who are the knights and knaves? A says B is a knight and B says the two of us are opposite types. So what can we conclude about A and B? So uh, being optimistic, uh, optimistic, we assume uh, if we start from A, that he is knight. So if A is knight, so his statement is true. So his statement is B is knight. So again, if his statement true, the first, it means K B should also be knight. So B ki statement we fir true on it. If B is knight, then his statement should also be true. Now, what is the statement of B? Two of us are opposite types. A or B, hum dono different types. Ke hain. Ab agar B ki statement true hai, to phir, to A ko knave hona chahiye, A ko knight hona chahiye. Lekin looking at A statement, agar A knight hai, to looking at A statement, dono hi knights ho rahe hain. So this is a contradiction. Ye dono chize ek dusre se match nahi kari. So pieces of puzzle, pieces of puzzle are not fitting at right places. So our assumption jo thi, usme masla tha, ke if A is light, so that assumption is not going to work. So let's look at the other scenario. Agar A nave ho, phir kya hoga? If A is nave, then his statement is going to be false. If A is nave, then his statement is going to be wrong. His statement is B is knight. That means B should not be knight. So B should be knave. So both are of the same type, A and B. 
सो लेट्स लुक एट बी बी स्टेटमेंट बी की स्टेटमेंट है बोथ ऑफ अस आर अपोजिट टाइप्स हम दोनों डिफरेंट तरह के लोग हैं सो हिज स्टेटमेंट शुड बी रॉन्ग अगर ए की स्टेटमेंट रॉन्ग है तो बी शुड बी नेव एंड हिज स्टेटमेंट शुड ऑल्सो बी रॉन्ग सो इट मीन्स द टू आर नॉट ऑफ अपोजिट टाइप बोथ ऑफ देम आर ऑफ द सेम टाइप ए एंड बी बोथ आर ऑफ द सेम टाइप सो इट मीन्स बोथ आर नेव ए को हमने सपोज किए हुए नेव सो बी शुड ऑल्सो बी नेव so we come to the conclusion a and b both are nave uh, uh, let's look at one more at least one of us is nave and b says nothing so statement of a if it is true so at least one of us is nave ke ja to ek nave hoga ya dono nave honge kam se kam ek to nave hai if we assume a is nave then b should be the nave then it is fine Uh, let's look at other scenario as well if a is wrong at least one of us is nave hum mein se kam se kam ek to nave hai iski negation kya hogi hum mein se koi bhi nave nahi hai we are both knights this statement of, then our assumption that a is nave to wo fir uh, logically incorrect ho jati hai if a is nave and uh, according to his statement if it is wrong then the true statement should be ke both of them should be knight lekin hamari state uh, assumption kya hai a is nave so uh, uh, this becomes like a contradiction so it is not true so the our first thing that a is knight and b is nave that is going to work uh, actually we can also uh, do it using truth table uh, we can analyze these statements using truth table as well for example uh, if a says the two of us are both knights and b says a is nave so we can analyze both statements in our truth table so uh, a ya to wo true hoga b bhi true hai ya a true hai b false hai a false b true a false b false it's just like for true is knight and false is b nave so statement of a is the two of us are both knights agar ye dono true hain so or b bhi true hai b says a is nave to fir wo uh, contradictory statements ho gayi the two of us are both knights dono hi knights hone chahiye aur b if he is knight or he is saying a is nave to so, uh, this become contradiction it's not possible because of contradiction so as the next statement if a is true the two of us are both knights dono hi knights hone chahiye so uh, then b cannot be false agar dono hi knights hone chahiye so b cannot be false so this scenario waise hi uh, out ho jate hain because a statement ye hai ki hum dono hi knights hone chahiye so uh, b being nave is out of question then so it is not possible due to a statement uh, if a is uh nave his statement is false the two of us are both knights agar ye false hai it means in mein se ek knight hai ek nave hai jo dono hi nave hai so both of us are not nave uh, sorry both of us are not knight his statement is the two of us are both knights aur agar ye nave hai to actual statement jo hum conclude kar sakte hain wo ye hai ki both of us are both of them are not knights at least one of them is nave so humne to assume kar liya a nave hai let's look at b b statement is a is nave so it is uh, it is possible uh, it is like uh, it agrees with our assumption that a is nave so let's look at the last case ho sakta wo bhi possible ho the not possible ho so a is false the two of us are both knights so means the two of them are not knights one at least one of them is nave aur agar b bhi nave hai so b ki statement a is nave so it means a should be knight agar b ki statement galat hai then a should be knight lekin hamari assumption kya hai ki a is false a is nave so uh, both statements are uh, i mean uh, not logically uh congruent to each other not logically uh, compatible to each other dono statements compatible nahi so this is not possible 
So we have only one solution. When A is naive and B is not, then this result is possible. So uh, there are a number of puzzles that you can do at your own. Uh, yeah, so you can do uh, um, one. Uh, it's extended scenario is can you meet three kind of people? And there are people. Uh, there are three kind of people. Uh, some are knights, some are knaves, and some are spies. So, jo mara island hai, it's, it gets some evolution. So, ek tisri tarah ke log isme aage. These are called spies. Jo kabi jhoot bolte hain, kabi sach bolte hain, just like normal people. So when you meet three people, A, B, and C, they give some statement, and you have to analyze which of them is knight, which of them is uh, knave, which of them is spy. So uh, just like uh, you have to analyze logically, and you have to figure it out who is knight, who is knave, and who is spy. So uh, these you can do it. Uh, uh, just a uh, few more things, tautology and contradictions. Uh, tautology means something which is always true, a universal truth. It's called tautology. Nobody can challenge, this, challenge it. So a compound proposition, a compound expression, which is always true, no matter where the truth values or the propositional variables are. Like I'm truth table, a compound propositional expression. Ka. Or truth values, uh, truth values, or truth table ki jo output say truth values, they always come out to be one. They are always true. Uh, such kilawa kuch bhi hoga, one kilawa kuch bhi hoga. So this thing is called tautology. It is always true. Or ek example hamne tautology ki ki thi. For example, P or not P. P or negation of P. It is always going to be one because if P is one, the not P is zero. One or zero is one. If P is false, zero, then not P is going to be one. So zero or one is one. So it is always tautologies. So is there a complex compound expression? If it always give one, then it is tautology. And on the other hand, on the other hand, if some compound expression always give zero value, it is always false. No matter what the truth value of individual variables are. So this is called contradiction. So, if your output is zero, so it's contradiction. Uh, we make a truth table, or truth table ki output is always zero. So, this is contradiction. So, tautology is, uh, it always give us true. Contradiction is, it always give us zero. Tautology and contradiction. So uh, truth table, how to construct truth table? I hope now you should be comfortable here. Uh, these are just summary of truth table of and operation, or operation, exclusive or implication and by condition. So uh, if we have to uh, show logical equivalence, so we uh, two expressions are logically equivalent if their truth tables are same. So two expressions, if logically equivalent show can be made, truth table If the two outputs are same, hai, so they are logically equivalent. So here it is quick exercise. What will be the truth values of P and Q, and then or with negation of Q. So P and Q. So P value is 0, 0, 1, 1. Q is 0, 1, 0, 1. If we have three variables, ho, ek aur bhi ho, P, Q, R, then it's going to be uh, eight, pos eight possible values. So it's always going to be two raised for n possible values. Now we have two variables, p or q, so two raised for two. We have four possible scenarios. Again, we have three variables, so we will have two raised for three, eight possible scenarios. Because each variable take bind binary values, and we know uh, for binding strings of length n, possible binding strings are two raised for n, uh, values. Our pass four variables only. So two raised power four, we will have sixteen possible scenarios. So here we have our pass three possible scenarios. Sorry, four possible scenarios are because we have two variables p and q. So p q so zero 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 one one zero one one p and q 
first we analyze p and q so it's going to be 0001 not q so 0101 so not q is going to be 1010 and then we take or of these two so p and q is 0001 not q 1010 and we take or of those uh, these two things 0 or 1 is 1 0 or 0 is 0 Zero and one is one. One and zero is one. So uh, this concludes our discussion on uh, basics of logical proposition. In next lecture, we will start with quantifiers.